Hey guys, how is everyone doing? My name is Diggory and today I want to talk to you about Aperture. So I touched on Aperture during my how to shoot manual video, but in this one I just want to go more in depth and so that you can learn how you can properly control and utilize the aperture setting. So what is aperture? Well aperture is the amount of light that the lens lets into the camera and it does this by the use of aperture blades. Now aperture blades are blades in the camera that can close the hole and open the hole of the lens and this is controlled through something called the f-stop. Now the f-stop works in stops of light. I'll put a scale just here so that you can see and basically as you go up a number on the scale you half the amount of light coming into the camera and it does this by closing the blades. So each increment on that scale is a halving of the light. Now if you look on your camera you'll notice that you have more numbers in the aperture setting that you can control. Now these are third stops, so they're third stops of light and it gives you more control over how much light is let through the lens. One thing to note is that your aperture is only to do with the amount of light the lens lets in. Now this is entirely lens dependent, so if you don't have a lens on your camera, you can't control the aperture function. Not that it matters too much, as you can't take pictures without a lens anyway. It's also important to remember that the higher your aperture, the less light the camera will be letting in, which means you'll have to adjust your other settings accordingly. So if you're shooting at night time, it's always best to have your aperture as wide open as possible, as that lets in the most amount of light. Now the aperture is really important when talking about depth of field. Now what depth of field is, is how much of the image is in focus. So if you have a very shallow depth of field, then only a very small amount of the image will be in focus. But if you have a deeper depth of field, then this much of the image is going to be in focus. Now the rule is that the lower your aperture number, the shallower your depth of field. And obviously the higher your number, the deeper your depth of field. I'll put some comparison photos on the side here so that you can see the difference between a shallow depth of field and a deep depth of field. Now when it comes to the effect of bokeh, which is light circles created by a very shallow depth of field, the more aperture blades your lens has, the better quality circles you're going to get in the background. The less aperture blades the lens has, the more straight lines you're going to get on those circles. So that's been a more in-depth look at aperture. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please leave a like down below and subscribe for more videos like this. So thanks for watching, bye.